Hi students, I am Prashant B. Chandran, Assistant Professor, Automobile Engineering Department, SNA Tiador. Today, I am going to teach you about a problem in radiation, that is, a problem from the topic heat exchange between two black bodies. That is our problem number two. Let us start. Two large parallel plates are maintained at 500 Kelvin and 600 Kelvin. Determine the heat exchange by radiation. Okay, this is the problem. That is heat exchange between two black bodies. Problem number two. Two large parallel plates. It is given that there are two large parallel plates whose temperatures are given. We have to find out the heat exchange by radiation. Okay. First of all, write the given data. It is given that two large parallel plates are there. Yeah. Two large parallel plates whose temperatures T1 is equal to 500 Kelvin and T2 is equal to 600 Kelvin. These are the given values. Sorry, uh, T1 is equal to um, 600 Kelvin and uh, T2 is equal to 500 Kelvin. Sorry for the mistake. Then, area is not given. So, let us assume the area is 1 meter square. Okay. This is a common procedure. If the area is not given, you can consider it the area as 1 meter square. Then, to find, to find, we have to find out the heat exchange by radiation. That is Q12. A solution. First of all, draw the two parallel plates. That is plate 1 and plate 2. MC powers are marked that is EB1 and EB2 and the resistance R is equal to 1 divided by A1 F12. Okay. Then from our HMT data book page number 84, page number 84. For in, uh, large parallel plates, for infinite or large parallel plates, the value for shear factor F12 is equal to 1. Okay. And the area, we know that area is given as 1 meter square. Then we have to find out the resistance. We know that, know that resistance for a black body R is equal to 1 divided by A1 F12, which is equal to 1 divided by A1 is 1 and F12 is 1. Therefore, R is equal to 1 per meter square. Okay. Then we have to find out the value for EB1 minus EB2. EB1 minus EB2 can be written as sigma into t1 raised to 4 minus t2 raised to 4 that is equal to sigma value it is a non value that is 5.67 5, uh, 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 is given in your HMD data book Substituting the values, five point six seven into ten raised to minus eight, the whole into T one values six hundred raised to four minus T two five hundred raised to four. We get E one E B one minus E B two is equal to E B one minus E B two is equal to three thousand 
eight hundred and four point five seven watt per meter square. Okay, this is the value for E B one minus E B two. The next step is to find the value for Q one two. Question for Q one two is E B one minus E B two divided by R. It is equal to three thousand eight hundred and four point five seven divided by one. We get Q one two is equal to three thousand eight hundred and four point five seven watt. Is the value for Q one two. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.